every Friday, we wrap up our broadcast week uh, with an opportunity to blow off a little steam, to revisit the stories of the week, and to, to chime in in enthusiastic fashion. These are all real emails sent to us by Real Talkers. It's presented every week by Local Waste, a little something we call Trash Talk! Lindsay kicks us off this morning. She says, can we please talk about dysfunctional families for a second? For example, uh, a hypothetical household where one person puts in five to ten extra seconds every once in a while to keep the kitchen cupboards organized, to keep the lids on jars in the fridge, to keep the dishwasher loaded, then unloaded. And, and, and then maybe another person in that household acts like these are the types of tiny little jobs that just complete themselves. You stopped living at your mother's house 11 years ago, Brandon. Not from Lindsay. How about this one from Ricky, who says puppies are cute without a doubt, but puppies pee and poo indiscriminately. Adult and senior dogs do not get enough respect, and they know the drill. (laughs) And don't even think for a second about getting a puppy, and then when they get old or older, just ditching them when they become inconvenient. A dog is a life long commitment their whole life that from ricky how about this one from morris who says like so many other people i'm appalled at the story involving kyle beach and the chicago blackhawks he says by the way just boy i love the interview with moose yesterday thanks for that we asked mark messier about the story morris says this is a public service announcement that there are literally millions of people though that volunteer their time and dedicate so much of their effort to making hockey fun and safe and a positive experience for millions of kids morris says it's heartbreaking It's horrible when we see stories of abuse surface like they do in many other situations. It's heartbreaking every time. He says Stan Bowman was right to step down. He says Joel Quenville was right to resign from the Florida Panthers yesterday. But I'm troubled, says Morris, by some of the comments I've seen about everybody who plays hockey. Morris says it's so important to have these reminders, these red flags that abuse does exist it happens but it's also important to remember so many of us care very deeply about the sport and the kids and the adults who play it that from morris how about this one from jared who says i cannot think of a more stressful situation than being at one percent battery on my phone lost and afraid and having to change my voicemail greeting so people can come and rescue me a hundred percent my new voicemail would get cut off before the recording expired leaving key information missing and nobody would hear it until I was dead because earmuffs kids who the fuck still leaves voicemails you call somebody they don't answer you send a text telling them to call back I'll stick to calling 911 or in a minor emergency sending a mass text to my loved ones that from Jared and of course this from Terry I know everybody's been waiting for this one with Halloween upon us Terry says if you're 17 and trick-or-treating go home 13 is too old Sarah Ryan, I love you both, but you're off your bloody rockers. Terry says trick-or-treating is one night a year where people can participate in ridiculous fun, so why are we putting conditions on it? Especially when fun has been so limited for the past two years. Peer pressure is typically what signals kids they're ready to move on from that part of Halloween night. The kids with poor relationships, the kids that have trouble reading social cues, or kids with disabilities might not get that same social feedback. Or despite peer pressure, maybe they just want to have fun. You don't have to know the life of the teen with a garbage bag for a costume. You don't know what it means to some older kids to have you get excited to see them. It might be the only positive interaction they've had for weeks. Plus, there's an added benefit you too. When houses are targeted for theft or vandalism, your reputation might be what stops your bikes from being stolen. Terry says there's far too much going on in the world to waste energy on opinions about the age of trick-or-treaters slap on a mask chat with the kids who show up and give out the good old candy that from terry i love it terry message received if you've got some steam to blow off you can send us an email to talk at ryanjesperson.com enjoy your weekends our friends coming up next week on the show coverage of the cop 26 
uh, right from the cover. Wow, what, from Glasgow? From Scotland, Sarah Hoyles? Straight from well Scotland. Well done. You killed it this week, by the way. As mentioned, November's National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Leela here just mentioned it. We'll talk about it Monday. And on Wednesday of next week, the return of Dr. Jody Carrington. Have a safe one, friends. Hand out the big chocolate bars if you're able, and we'll talk to you soon.